The National Weather Service says today is day 38 without measurable rainfall in downtown San Francisco. December, January, and February are traditionally considered the rainy season, the core wet months for the Bay Area. Crown Force Amanda Harris talked with a meteorologist about how the how this is impacting our drought conditions. I'm told it's not unusual to have a two or three week dry spell in the middle of winter, but this midwinter dry spell that we're going through right now is the fourth driest on National Weather Service's records, and their records go back 173 years. Our vegetation is actually starting to dry out. If you take a look at the California drought map, it reflects that. Almost all of the state is in a moderate to severe drought category. And in a study recently published in the journal Nature Climate Change, scientists are calling it a mega drought. The study measured moisture in soil and found 2000 to 2021 was the driest 22 year period since at least the year 800. On a narrower scale, NWS Warning Coordination Meteorologist Brian Garcia says the current water year could get very dry. That Band-Aid's about to get ripped off and we're, uh, we're looking like we're going to start seeing those drought impacts again as we go into the summer. The water year runs from October 1st to September 30th. Garcia says it started out very wet in October, November was dry, but then December was another wet month. Because of those two wet months for the water year right now around the Bay Area, for the most part, we're anywhere between about 80% of normal to right around 100% of normal. December, January, and February are usually the core wet months, but meteorologists aren't forecasting much rain through the end of February. That means those percentages will continue to decrease over time as we march towards September 30th. Garcia also added that despite the fact that we're in the wetter months, we've had several very warm days that broke records recently. That dried out the vegetation, which could lead to fires. We keep in mind that fire starts are possible in midwinter when we don't have any rain. So make sure that you watch those sparks. The meteorologist tells me it's always a good time to conserve water. So he recommends doing that however you can. Amanda Harry, Cron4 News.